Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to create these types of logos in Photoshop. This is the MLG logo and this is the NBA logo. As you can see here, uh, they have one silhouette piece of an object or anything and uh, at the side the two colors the blue dark blue and the red so and they have their names there so i'm gonna be using photoshop cs4 today you can use any type of photoshop to do this effect and it's free because as long as you know how to do it uh today i'm going using the apple logo uh though there is one flaw in the apple logo if you see here there's actually a spacing here between the top and the apple so it actually doesn't matter but it look, it'll look nicer if you use one whole piece as a sil silhouette so okay I'll just go into Photoshop and just drag my Apple logo go in and I'll open new and just set it to the standard and I'll have this new layer okay first uh, you can select from here uh, select the rounded rectangle if you want a rectangle you also can do it but it won't look as nice so just select the rounded rectangle and um, fill the entire uh, your entire board with uh, as much as you can just leaving a space a small space at the ends and it will form your uh, image so you can change the colors by uh, changing it from here so I uh, set it as a standard to blue already and okay go ahead and go to your image and go into this tool and the plus sign and just select your entire logo and drag it out drag it out and select your logo and bring it there into your image okay so I can just cancel this out and come back to the canvas Okay, as you can see here, I have the black logo. Usually it'll be turned to white. So, and there's a spacing here. Yeah, what you want to do is you Command T on your Mac and Control T on your PC. Or you can go to Free Transform here in the Help and uh, hold Shift so that it will expand uh, proportionally. And just, I'm just going to tilt it here to make it look nicer. Uh, you might want to put it in the middle such that it looks like uh, the, the colors are more balanced and just put it in appropriately okay this should be it okay so you apply there and uh, make sure the sides of your logo are at the tips of your canvas so after this um, go into your shape one uh, right click and your duplicate layer just press OK and that layer will be blue so double click, oh, sorry and after double clicking you should go to cover overlay and select your color from here usually it will do red and blue because normal logos do red and blue and thus click OK if you can see here there, there will be sorry a red and a blue, a red and a blue so this is red, this is blue, it's not showing here for some reason. So uh, you, uh, the easy way is to take the eraser, increase your brush size so that will be easier, and decide uh, which, okay, first you click on it, click OK, rasterize it such that um, your, you can start using eraser tool, and as big as possible, your eraser is more convenient. Select the side which you want the blue color or the other color to show, so just erase such that I'm erasing the layer which I want the blue to appear in so I'll just erase the sides and use the Apple logo as a reference and as you can see here I'm just filling up this part of the image blue and because uh, the Apple logo has a flaw here I'm only gonna cover the color rate half uh, in other silhouettes it'll be easier okay so that's done and um, after that, if you want to be more fancy, uh, the black looks nice, but uh, I'll just go to my logo, double click it, and color overlay, and I click, I select, and I turn it to white such that it will look like this. So after this, it's actually done now, but you can actually select text like, um, just going to the text here, and um, typing in Apple. And you can do it for any type of thing you want it 
to have. So it's turn to blue. Just change the color to white, and there apple should be it. Okay, so this is my tutorial on how to make the MLG slash NBA logo. Um, you can do, practically do it for anything, and because the Apple logo has a space in between, I recommend a silhouette, uh, which does not have to have a space in between. Uh, you can do it on any Photoshop um, version. And thanks for watching. Uh, subscribe.